As we age, our eyes lose their ability to focus quickly on near and far objects, and so we have to wear glasses. What can science do to prolong good vision? Presbyopia is a common problem as we get older, but its causes are not yet fully understood. There's evidence that the aging crystalline lens inside the eye loses its elasticity and the ability to change its focal distance. After the age of 40 or so, my near vision started to become poorer. I'd rather not have to wear reading glasses. So that's why I came to the hospital, looking for a solution. Eye surgeons can replace the stiffened crystalline lens with an artificial implant such as a multifocal lens that allows the recipient to see near and far objects clearly. That's often done in cataract surgery, but multifocal lenses aren't perfect. It would be ideal to find a more physiological solution for presbyopia, which would mimic the behavior of the human crystalline lens. The lens we're implanting offers correction of near, far and middle sight, but it doesn't simulate the mechanism to be more accommodative. So how can the treatment of presbyopia be made more effective? Scientists working in a European research project have developed instruments that can help to solve the problem by making organic implants. They're capable of changing their shape naturally. We believe the accommodative lens to be the lens of the future because it reproduces functions of a young crystalline lens in the human eye. Laser instruments allow surgeons to study the inner structure of the eye, helping them select the most suitable lens among the existing options. We can even think of making a personalized intraocular lens, designed specifically for each patient and based on the data collected with these instruments. Based on a digital model of the eye, clinicians will be able to make a flexible implant, its shape allowing it to be attached to the eye muscles, just like the old crystalline lens it replaces. That connection enables the muscle forces to be transferred to the flexible lens. And that allows it to shape the surface. And when we change the surface, we change the focal point. Researchers say their laser instruments can be made compact and easy to use in clinics, giving ophthalmologists an efficient tool to treat presbyopic patients. We hope this system will help the patient to experience in advance how they'll see after surgery. They'll see how an intraocular implant will change their vision, and thanks to that, the selection of the lens will be optimized.